I think we're well placed as well. Oh, excuse my head, everybody. Welcome to Friday. Yes, finally. Friday's here. It's been a long week, um, but you're all very well adjusted now to life as it is. Um, today, we've got a very special treat in that I'm blocking her. Um, we're going to have a yoga session for everybody. So um, we talked about mindfulness and breathing. And Laura here, welcome Laura to Eagle House. Uh, she's been doing some work with some of the staff previously and the students. So if you haven't had a session with Laura yet, you're about to. Um, and you're gonna see far more of her around school when we get back to it. So I think without further ado, Laura, yeah. over Good. to you, yeah? Hi everyone. So first of all, we're all gonna sit down onto our mat and we're gonna take some time out and really ease into this session. So just roll your shoulders back, cross-legged, and try and sit up nice and straight. So if you're a bit like this, pretend you've got like a string on your head and just pull yourself nice and upright. Roll your shoulders back, and we're just going to take a few long, deep breaths. So quite often, we'll do quite shallow breathing up here. So we want to pretend that we've got a big balloon in our tummies, and we're going to breathe in through our nose, and push the air down into the balloon in our tummy. So long breath in, and then a big breath out. So deflate that balloon and bring it back up. So just sit here for a few moments and focus on your breathing. It's obviously really important. And, and quite often we don't actually think about our breathing um, and it's something that's so important that we do correctly. So just in through the nose, and out through the mouth. So just a few more here. I was sitting nice and upright. Long deep breath in, and a long deep breath out. So from here, we're just gonna get the music started. And we're going to begin moving, begin warming up. So again, just roll your shoulders back in your seated position. If your hips are a bit tight and it's a bit uncomfortable sitting here like this, you can always put a block or a vert or a jumper underneath your bottom to just ease those hips in. Okay, so bring your neck to one side, so your right ear maybe to your right shoulder. Take your right hand and just gently place it on your head. So in yoga, we're not really grabbing at our bodies. We're just gonna be kind to ourselves today. Just be really gentle. And the objective of today's session is to hopefully finish these 30 minutes a bit calmer and maybe happier. And now bring your left arm out to the side and that will intensify that stretch just down your neck slightly. And let's release and go the other side. So left ear to left shoulder. And then Take your hand once again, remembering not to pull. I'm just going to take it really slowly today. And then your right arm out. You might feel a slight referral down your arm as well. Okay, just come back down. So with your hands out to the side, we're just going to kind of create a rainbow. So with your right arm, bring it up and over down to the left side. And then we'll go back to the other way. Kind of like a tick tock. And if we think about our breath with it, we're gonna breathe in as we come up and then out as we come back down. And that's good. So the next one is to breathe in and reach up to the sky and just do a gentle twist. So bring your right arm to your left knee and look behind your shoulder. You should feel a little twist in your back. And again, don't be pulling on your knee too hard. Just be kind to yourself. And now inhale again, arms up to the sky. And then we'll go the other way. Let's do one more time both ways. So inhale up. And exhale. Inhale back up to centre. And down. Okay, so from here we're going to go into a tabletop position. So come over onto your knees, but before you put your hands down, take your hands out nice and wide, stretch your fingers out as wide as possible, and then place them down on your mat. And that will help take some of the pressure out of your wrists. So with your hands below your shoulders in a nice straight line, 
and your knees below your hips. We're going to go through like a cat cow. So if you drop your tummy and lift up your bottom and look straight ahead of you, this is called a cow pose. The cows are obviously quite nice and calm, just chilling there in the field. And then we're going to tuck our bottom under, push through our back, breathe through the shoulders, and drop our head for a cat pose. So kind of think Halloween cat, where it's a bit like. And now let's drop back to cow. This is some really good flexion and extension for your spine, which stretches your back. And then push back up to cat. One more time. Out, and then push back up to the cat. Okay, so from here, bring your big toes behind you together and bring your knees out wide. And then we're going to stick our bottoms back onto our heels and slowly crawl our hands out in front of us to child pose. You might have done this before. It's a really good stretch. Um, sitting, you've done a lot of sitting down, it stretches your hips. It will also stretch your arms. And then if you bring your forehead to the mat, bring your head to the mat or the ground, we said to be calming. So let's just put our head on the ground and just take a few deep breaths here once again. Thinking about what we spoke about before, about the long, big inhale deep into the bottom of our belly and then the full exhale. Great, so let's just slowly roll on up. Cross your feet behind you and roll over your toes and come back to sitting. Okay? And now we're going to get some energy going. So, in this position, we're going to slowly begin tapping our feet. And when we were very close to that, we started with our feet quiet, that's what we're going to do for that. We can go louder. on the end of your fingers. And we're going to slowly paint the floor all around us. 
So trust yourself that you're getting every bit of the floor. Don't look at it. Close your eyes. And keep going. And now we're going to come to a stop hanging back over our toes. So tuck your head firmly under once again so your chin is onto your chest. We're going to slowly roll up to standing. And no one should be going faster than me, but we're going to go really slow so we can feel vertebrae by vertebrae up our back as it unrolls. Then we'll slowly roll our shoulders back and bring our heads up to standing. So this position here, when you're standing nice and tall, it's called mountain pose. So it's when you're at your strongest, your tallest, it's the most stable. So we want good alignment here. So we want to tuck our bottoms under slightly and roll our shoulders back and bring our chin so it's kind of parallel to the floor. Okay, so when we're on top of a mountain, the best thing to do is to see the sunrise. So we're gonna come down in front of us, bring our hands up and round, reach up to the sky and look up to the sun. And slowly come back down as the sun resets. So folding back over your leg once again. Okay, so let's do that one more time. So sunrise, arms up high and wide, looking up to the sky. Take a big deep breath in. And then exhale as we come down. So place your hands on the floor. We're going to step our right leg back and then our left leg to plank position. So if this is a bit much, if you find you know, you're a bit tired today from all of the work that you've done this week, feel free to come down into the tabletop at any time. But we're not going to stay here for very long. What we're going to do, we're going to go to a downward dog. So we're going to lift our hips up and back to a downward dog. So if anyone's got a dog, you would have probably seen that your dog bends his back legs, straightens his front leg, and does a nice stretch a bit like this. Pushes his head between his shoulders. He just really enjoys the stretch. So that's kind of what we're doing here. So just enjoy this position. Take a deep breath in. And let's begin walking our dog. So pedal your feet up and down. Bending your knees. That's good. And maybe you want to wag your tail. So let's wag our bottoms from side to side. And then slowly come back. Stillness. So from here, we're going to plant our left foot, put it firmly into the ground, and we're going to lift our right foot up into the sky for a three legged dog. And then we're going to swing that right foot through to come into a lunge position. So when you feel nice and stable on that front leg, we're going to bring our hands up high. Take a deep breath in, and we're going to turn out to the left, pivoting on our back foot. And this is called Warrior Two. So it's a nice and strong pose. We're really working through our, both of our legs and our arms out nice and long like a warrior. So from here, we're going to lean forward and then circle on back, peaceful warrior. And then bring our arms back down and round, back to that front position, and then take that leg back once again. And then our hips up and back to the downward dog. So we can do it the other side. So plant your right foot, lift your foot, your left foot up to the sky for three-legged dog, and then we'll swing that left foot through for the lunge. Once again, find your same area, and then we'll lift up nice and high. Turning out to the right, and just take it on your back foot. Let's push into that front leg like a real strong warrior, that's it. Now push out, pull out to the front. If someone's pulling your arm, and then we'll circle back. Get a good stretch down that side of our body. And then roll off the background to the front of our mat again. But this time we're going to step our, front, our back foot forward to the front, so we're at the front of our mat. And then come up to that standing mountain pose 
once again. So while we're here, we're gonna go into our balance position. So take a big deep breath in and make sure that you're standing nice and firm. You feel confident, you feel stable. Once you feel there, we're gonna bring our hands to our heart and slowly lift your right foot off the floor in front of your knee in front of you. And once you feel good there, we're gonna rotate it out to the side. And from here, we're gonna, with a little help from our hands, bring our right foot into our, the top of our thigh. If that's too much, you can bring it just below your knee onto your calf. And if that's also too much, you can bring it down to your ankle. So wherever you guys are, focus on a spot just about a meter or so in front of you to find a good balance and to focus your mind. How's that going? Okay, so now this is, this is called tree pose. So from here, our branches are gonna slowly come out wide. And if you wanna challenge yourself a little bit further, Look up to the sky. And if you fall, that's absolutely fine. It means that you're really testing yourself. That's great. And slowly come on back down. Release your leg nice and slowly down to the ground. Okay, so deep breath in, a long breath out, and let's go feel the side. So finding your balance, hands to your heart. Slowly lift your left foot up in front of you. So your knee is parallel to the ground. Fine. And we're going to slowly rotate out, out to the side. And once again, bring your foot in to your thigh, or perhaps your calf just below your knee or your ankle. Great balance, guys. And once again, find a focal point just in front of you and it will really help you balance. And we're gonna slowly grow out the sky. And look up. And if you wanna challenge yourself more, close your eyes. Great, so let's come on back down. So following that nice, balance and focus we're going to get our energy moving once again we're going to release any energy so bring your feet a bit further than hip width a hip width apart and we're going to slowly move our arms around perhaps moving your hips a little as well some of you guys might like to start flossing you just want to really a bit of movement here creating like a cyclone or a hurricane so we're going to go faster Releasing any untrapped energy. Keep going. You might be hitting your bottom and your legs. You really let go of your arms. Keep going. Go faster. And slowly come back down to find our stillness once again. So, coming back to the tops of our mat. We're going to slowly come down into that little squat position where we kind of near the start of the class. And we're going to rock back with our hands behind us onto our bottoms. So it's really important to have a strong core. So we're just going to go into what is called in yoga a boat pose. So when we're back here, we're going to slowly lift one leg and then the other. And you can hold onto your thighs. And you must, it's good to keep your chest nice and upright. Perhaps looking to the corner of the ceiling of the room. So from here, if you feel like you've got a nice strong tummy, you can release your arm. And our boat is going to go for a little ride. We're going to go over a way. And another. We're going to dip our toes in. One toe, and then the other. We're going to go round the way here, round with another boy, and then dipping our toes once again. And if at any time this is a bit too much, you can hold on to your thighs and you can take a little breath down here. So wherever you are, let's just do a few more. We're coming out and dipping our toes. 
perhaps around to the side, and then the other side. Out again. Great. So bring your feet back down onto the mat. Give yourself another little hug in the knee. And we're going to rock on back onto our backs. So once you're on your back, open your legs out, open your knees out wide. And we're going to reach our hands through the inside of our knees and catch our feet. And this is called a baby, happy baby pose. <laughs> so you can imagine like a little baby sitting here, just rocking from side to side, loving the world, loving all of the new things that he or she sees. So just enjoy a kind of gentle rock from side to side. And if you push your feet up through your hands, you can lengthen your back, back along the mat. And it gives you a nice stretch. Okay, so we just stop there, bring our knees back in together and bring our feet down onto the mat. We're now going to explore a bridge pose. So with your feet flat on the mat, you want to bring your bottom so it's about a hand length away from your feet. So the gap between your, your heel and your bottom is about the length of your hand. So what we're going to do here, we're going to tilt our pelvis, so kind of like as if you're doing like a jar or opening a jar. We're going to tilt our pelvis and then we're going to slowly roll up our backs and lift our hips, our hip bones up into the sky. So really clench your bottoms here, push up into the sky. And I think you need to push your bridge a little bit higher. There's a big boat coming through. Try and keep your knee, knees in nice and tight, close to each other. And we're going to slowly roll on back down as the bridge closes. So let's try that one more time. So tilt your pelvis, return those jars, and then roll up through your spine, stretching your bottom. Activating your hamstrings, so contracting your leg muscles and pushing up to the sky. And if you can, push up a little bit higher and we'll slowly roll on back down. So just give you, bring your knees into your chest and give yourself another hug. And then bring your feet flat on the mat once again. And this time, allow them to fall open. And this is like a reclined cobbler's pose or a reclined butterfly. So go back to those long deep breaths. So maybe put your hands on your tummy and make sure that you can feel your tummy moving up and down as you breathe in and out. Great, and so now we're gonna just slowly go into a short period of relaxation. So allow each leg to stretch out one by one. So bring your legs out down to the end of the mat. Bring your hands down by your side. And we're just going to stay here for a little bit. And really try to relax. So we're going to look, go to, we're going to look at, feel our energy one last time. So I want you to screw up your toes. Really screw your toes up into your feet. Activate or contract your calf muscles. Tighten your legs. Squeeze your bottom. For five, four, three, two, one, and relax. And now we're going to do the upper part of our body. So make a fist as tight as you possibly can. Tense your tummy muscles. Bring your shoulders up to your ears. Clench your jaw. Bite your teeth down. Really close your eyes. Close your eyes as hard as you can. For five, four, three, two, one, and relax. So now I just want you to kind of lay on your mat and enjoy just a few minutes of relaxation. So close your eyes and just relax here for a minute. Maybe we can pretend that we're on a beach and the sun is beating down on your face. You can feel the sand 
Move your hands around in the sand, the warmth. Perhaps rock your head from side to side and find a nice place for your head in the sand. You can hear the sea swishing in the background. Perhaps you just had a really nice ice cream. It's kind of come to that point in the day where it's just, you're really happy, you've had a great day, you're a bit tired. Enjoy this moment. Enjoy the sun on your face. Take, take long deep breaths in and down. And breathe out. Four, three. So a few more deep breaths here. And slowly begin to move your feet, perhaps making a few circles around your ankles, making circles with your hands, and slowly open your eyes once again. And now we're going to roll over onto our left hand side and come up to seating, back to where we were at the start of the practice. If you come back up into your cross leg position, roll your shoulders once again, bring your hands back to your heart. We're just going to move our hands up and down to create a little heat. And then place your hands on your eyes, and your mouth, and bring that warmth to your heart. Thank you all. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Thank you Laura. Thank you. you are a magician. <laughs> uh, nothing else from you today. Oh, next week. sorry. Next week. Um, that was amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, next week, Monday, Eagles Get Active is normal. Tuesday, we will have a superhero theme. Wednesday is Section Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, watch this space. Um, what we'd like you to do if at any point over the weekend you and your families would like to write and create an Eagles Good Active workout, send it in to us and we'll, um, we'll look to do them next week at some point, probably Thursday or Friday. Um, and if you'll come back to us, I think we'd very much like you to come back at some point next week to yeah. Thursday or Friday. Have a lovely weekend, everybody. Take care. Namaste. Oh, okay.